Cohen Research Report Bullish on Pacific Asia China Energy A recent report published by the Cohen Independent Research Group, called Wall Street's number one independent research firm, rated Pacific Asia China Energy, TSX, PCE, other OTC, PCEF, a buy. The 68-page research report set three wide-ranging valuation levels as price targets for PCE shares for the company's coal bed methane concessions in China. Considerations such as the wide range of the Guizhou's abundant gas reserves, expected prices of natural gas during the research firm's forecast period, and discounting factors, such as the stock price's high volatility, were included in their price targets. PCE shares, which closed at one Canadian dollar and 16 cents per share on nearly 131,000 shares trading hands on June 19, were given long-term fair market pricing of one Canadian dollar and 96 cents per share by Cohen Research. This pricing was under the most pessimistic scenario. The low-case scenario included a natural gas price as low as $275 per 1,000 cubic meters and included a discount rate of 25% on the stock price. Cohen also reported, in the report, that at the current market price, PCE is grossly undervalued. Cohen Research wrote, as per our base case scenario estimates, the NAV of PACE's resources falls in the range of 5 Canadian dollars and 31 cents, 7.83 per share, with a discounting factor of 20%. Under the most optimistic pricing, Assuming natural gas at $375 per 1,000 cubic meters, Cohen targeted PCE shares at 11 Canadian dollars and 56 cents per share. Cohen Research used the net asset value (NAV) based method, which is one of the most accepted methods to value mining companies. PACE, the acronym for Pacific Asia China Energy, and not the stock's ticker symbol, which is PCE trading on the Toronto Venture Exchange, or TSX, is fortunate that one of its concessions is in the Guizhou province of China. Estimates describe this Chinese province as hosting more than 20% of China's coal bed methane CBM, reserves. The country's total CBM reserves have been independently estimated to exceed 31 trillion cubic feet. PACE was the first Canadian publicly traded company to participate in China's granting of CBM concessions. PACE is participating in the Bout Yenchingshan CBM project through its wholly owned subsidiary Asia Canada Energy, ACE. China's state owned CBM company, China United Coal Bed Methane, CUCBM, granted the 970 square kilometre CBM concession in September 2005 to ACE. The Bao Yinxingshan concession is located in the CBM-rich Guizhou province. The Cohen Research NAV levels confirm what we anticipated. Earlier this year, we had reported on the assessment by Spruill International on the Bao Yinxingshan property. On March 1, Pace had released three scenarios presented in the technical report filed by Spruill. The worst-case scenario on the property showed 504 billion cubic feet for three coal seams. The high case volume scenario for seven coal seams reached as high as 11.2 trillion cubic feet. Spruill's assessment called the most likely case volume estimated 5.2 trillion cubic feet. Some analysts have valued each trillion cubic feet of gas at 1 billion Canadian dollar market capitalization. This valuation does not include PACE's other CBM concession in China, the Huangshu project where the company began drilling test wells in mid-May. Nor does this include the company's joint venture partnership with Mitchell Drilling Services of Australia for the exclusive use of the drilling company's Dimaction registered system in China. We interviewed Nathan Mitchell, president of the drilling company, who was both optimistic and excited about his company's joint venture with Pace and looked forward to expanding his drilling operations into China. Mitchell told us, during that interview, his drilling company's technology made it possible to extract gas for around one US dollar and 25 cents per MCF. This would help make potentially uneconomic gas more economic under a very pessimistic scenario. Revenues from others using the Dimaction system in China would flow into the coffers of both Pace and Mitchell. Obviously this joint venture is moving forward. 
On June 8, Pace announced it had appointed a country manager for the joint venture, writing, Mr. Pacey will oversee all aspects of the joint venture activities in China as the joint venture company prepares to deploy Mitchell Drilling Contractors' proprietary LTD's proprietary Dimaction surface to Insane Drilling System later this year. Cohen Research did warn of negatives in making a hypothetical bear case for Pace's projects. The research team wrote, commercial viability has not yet been proven. The report also pointed out that technical studies were insufficient to accurately assess the quality of CBM to be extracted. Current drilling is underway on both CBM concessions. On June 12, Pace reported, early-stage desorption data from 12 samples show a range of gas contents between 105 and 407 SCF-T, 3.3 to 12.7 cubic meters per ton after 4 to 19 days of testing. These values will be exceeded as desorption will not be completed for several weeks. The company appears on the right track and has been issuing regular progress reports, which are encouraging. As PACE progresses to its final drilling in Guizhou province, and as the price of natural gas recovers, we suspect Cohen Research will be pleased with their price targets, as might shareholders in Pacific Asia China Energy. For more content like this, please visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info. All rights reserved. Discover the proven formula for automated sales and success that you can apply to your business in under 30 minutes. Reserve your seat at allsuper.info/webinar.